What's going on guys, Adrian here today with the Darwi character guide, um, full guide, I'm going to be covering everything about him. Um, he doesn't have like too, too much stuff, but he has some pretty good tech with him, so I'll be going ahead and covering everything about Darwi, and hopefully you guys will want to use him after, um, I use Darwi a lot, he's actually one of my favorite characters. So first we're going to talk about his ninja tools, he has these um, attack down tags, so they'll make their combos do less damage and their attacks do less damage and stuff. He has the balloon kunai, you know, good for guard manipulation and stuff. Um, these are actually the air ones though. These are not the ones that are, are on the ground. So these are the ones that are in the air. And then he has speed pills, which, you know, obviously name speaks for itself. So you can actually do a few things with these, um, with these ninja tools. So for an example, you could use the speed pill after his air reset and uh, still have time to do whatever. Um, he has a nice little max damage combo cancel with the tags that I'll be showing also. And you know, these you can just use for guard manipulation in general. So yeah, his item set is actually not good at all, <laughs> but you still can do some stuff with him. But I would not put him first though. I will put him with somebody who has like defense tags and attack pills and something like that. So if, like, I use this team all the time. I just pick Darwi first because I obviously want to show you guys the ninja tools. But um, I would always put Hashirama first instead of Darwi because Darwi's item tool set is not the best. But uh, now we're going to be talking about his UJ cancels. So his UJ cancels, um, his best one's in his up combo. It's right after this blade hits, one hit before last. You want to do your UJ, it's a rev cancel, not an S3 cancel. Darwi does not have any S3 cancels. Um, but you can also do this right there into the UJ. So yeah, those are two places you can do his UJ cancels at. Um, the up combo one's the best one, obviously. It does the most damage, so I recommend that's where you're going to want to do it at. And also in his up combo right there, you can do his tag cancel that I was talking about. His best one, in my opinion, is just like that. And with the fence tag, it does a lot of damage, so just like that. Um, he does not have any infinite combos, unfortunately, but a lot of times you'll see me do the tag cancel and his UJ cancels, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Now we're going to be moving on to his air reset and stuff you can do off his air reset. So Darwi's air reset is two hits, animate the third hit, just like that. And then you can get into a juggle. Um, you don't have to juggle, obviously. You can do way, way more um, things than this, but that's just one method. So you can also do a tilt. Let me show you guys. Just like that. And the guard is set to one on, so like I said, they cannot block through out of this. Do all of this. Um, they can't throw a shuriken, obviously, because it's air reset. But still, if they don't know that, then you get your damage. You can also do UJ, just like that. And then you can also pop um, any sort of pill and get right back into the reset. No, still work. Just like that. You don't have to juggle them. Like I say, y'all, you don't have to juggle them. I'll show you guys. Just like that. See. So that's air reset, that's some stuff that you can do with this air reset, but now I'm going to be moving on to his tilt and his tilt conversions, and then I'll go on to his guard pressure. Alright guys, so with Darwi's tilt, you can convert like this, and then, or you could do a jutsu, um, grab, universal pull, a fireball, you know, it doesn't really matter, UJ, uh, but his tilt goes right into the combo, so you can use it for multiple situations. So off the air reset. Um, just to throw somebody off guard, you'll see me do this a lot because it comes out kind of fast and then you can do whatever from there. So yeah, his tilt is very nice. You can convert off of it. It's one of my favorite tilts in the game. Reminds me a lot of Toby Ramos, but uh, yeah, now we'll be going on to his guard pressure. So now we're going to be going over uh, Darwi's three forms of guard pressure. He has the one right here in his up combo. You just want to chakra bait. They're all going to be in his up combo, you know, right after the blade is where most of them are going to be. So yeah, just chakra bait after it comes out, and that's his first form of guard pressure. Now on to number two. So you can also hollow step throw a kunai right there. Chakra kunai, doesn't really matter. But yeah, you can also do that for his guard pressure, and then now on to his last form. Now for his last form of guard pressure, guys, um, you just want to dash and switch. Just like that, so... He has three different forms of guard pressure. They're all pretty nice. Um, he breaks guards really fast. So now we'll be moving on to his grab buffer and his phantom hit. So now we'll be talking about Darwi's grab and his uh, grab buffer. So his grab is really good. It has range and it leads to a strike back. 
Um, so, you know, his grab buffer is really good since he has range. It's one of the ones that I recommend the most. Uh, you can use it to pressure off of a guard. You can use it just to catch them while they're about to combo you. So, you know, you know, the grab buffer guard pressure, get right into it. You can use it for multiple different situations. So I recommend using his grab buffer. It's really good and it's one of my, you know, favorite grab buffers. But now we'll be talking about his phantom hit and why it's so good. So Darui's phantom hit is one of the very few that hits across the map. As I just showed you guys, it'll hit across the map, and if they're blocking, it'll hit their guard. So just like last Sasuke, you know, Toby Rama, Konan. So he has a really good Phantom hit, and it's one of my favorites, so I just wanted to mention it. And now we'll be moving on to his Jutsu. So first, guys, his Jutsu goes cross map. Um, and yeah, next, it's very good for on-guard pressure. You can use it to get right into your guard pressure. And it'll also do a lot of damage on their guard. So it's very good on and off guard, and I'll show you guys that. So you can convert off the guard, just like just like that. Do not grab because it won't work, and with jutsu, it won't work either. Like, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. See? And I'll do it with a grab also. It's just in a certain frame. Um, so yeah, I recommend don't do that in the middle of the, the jutsu. I would just convert with the combo or, you know, get right into your uh, guard pressure depends if they're on or off guard but his jutsu is all around really good like i said very good for jutsu buffers very good for you know a support jutsu and definitely one of the top supports in the game in my opinion well the jutsu you know one of the top support jutsus in the game so yeah you're gonna want to use it for pressure and it's really good and now i think we pretty much covered everything in his base so we'll go on to his awakening so guys, there was actually one more thing I wanted to mention. He has really good chemistry with strike backs. So you can do his tilt right here if you do it. Yeah, if you time it. And then you can go into the combo off a of strike back, you know, Jutsu, UJ. He has very good chemistry with strike backs, but uh, now we're gonna go into his awakening since I covered everything. So yeah. So now we're on to Darwi's awakening, y'all. So first thing, um, these actions go cross map. So also you want to use these as like a little shield to protect you like when you're chakra dashing. They also do very good damage on the guard so I'm waiting for my action to come back and I'll show you what I mean. If you do your action and then dash right after look the guard will go instantly to red so like that. You can also get really good damage off this right here and then you know their guard breaks really quick off of that. Uh, also in awakening you can combo into his actions so let me go ahead and show that just like that uh, you can do it in his up combo too and see it kind of like stun locks see it kind of like stun locks them you can do it off the tilt uh, you can like it'll cancel out the tilt if you do it so I'll show you guys what I mean wow I don't know why I did that yeah, see? And it'll stomach them there too. So they're very good for pressure like that. Um, and yeah, I'll show you guys one more thing that you can do with these awakening actions. You can use them just like that. Um, since he has awakening actions, kind of like I showed you guys with pain. So you can do it on and off guard, but just like that. So yeah, that's one more thing that you can do with uh, his awakening action. His awakening is not bad in my opinion um it is missing a lot because it's really just a power boost and awakening actions but his awakening actions can be used for you know some things but now to end the video i'll show you guys like a little stylish combo involving all the stuff that i mentioned in the video so yeah let's get into it and then i'll wrap up the video so you guys could do something like this And boom and then you could even go back into your tilt so yeah he's very good for you know styling his juggle is really good but that's gonna wrap up the video y'all i hope you enjoyed um let me know what you think of the character guide and tomorrow i'll be posting a first to five video with my friend glenno i already have it recorded i just wanted to make a character guide for today since it's friday but yeah hope y'all enjoyed catch you guys in the next one peace